especially on Newcastle, the Newcastle, it seems to me like there shouldn't be any parking on one side of the street at all because you know, the kids come out of there and they dart out into the street. You can't even turn around in, on that street because there's parking on both sides and it's the same street anyway. Um, you know, and I know that party is very crowded too. I think you live on party, right? And, um, but the Newcastle Street is a, is a big problem. I, I took a, a couple of council people with me and drove that area last summer. And it, it, it's, I mean, we all know that needs to be addressed. We're talking about it and uh, you know, the mayor's working on it. We're all up here working on it. So I'm hoping that you get some relief this year, for sure. And, um, oh, but I we talked about it on Sunday. So All I want to point out is this is great to hear this from you guys and mayor uh, i'm happy but what you guys don't understand is we're human okay and i don't care if you put a lot across the street i don't care if you would have gotten that nursery lot people are going to park as close to that park as they can okay and our 10 spots are the next primo spot to park other than the parking lot okay so that's where they line up next i can't even get home from work to get there, and because the new castle house is sure, sure, on sure, driveway, sure, sure, sure. I mean, it's been okay. We have about ten minutes here, and I understand your concern, and you've gone through a procedure. I right? can't. Handle. I can't do that procedure. I'm too old. I can't walk door to door and get people's names to try and get this done. And try and petition. I'm sorry. I, I'm not going to argue with you guys. I just think that it's wrong. I think that at any point someone could say, hey. This needs to be done. Let's put 10 signs up for those 10 people that live there. It would cut the traffic down on Party E. And I wouldn't have to fight at 60 years old, living in Taylor some 30 some years, just to park in front of my house. And when my mate comes home, I don't have to go running out the driveway and try to back out. Matt, Matt, the Clark, is, is there a procedure without petition to designate those as resident only spots? If you could. Look at what that procedure is. One thing I will note in terms of your, your neighbors in that area, where uh, the residential has been made um, for residents only, one of my concerns, and if we're going to enforce parking over there, is that people should not be parking across the sidewalks. That is one issue I've seen with the residents in that area, where People are parking across the sidewalk, so if we're encouraging other residents with their children to utilize the city sidewalks, many of those homes from time to time are, if you abide by not parking in front of their homes, if you park in the other areas, then you cannot walk down the sidewalk. So if we designate and enforce, the issue I've seen walking that neighborhood is people across the sidewalks. Um, I guess appreciate that. You can look into how that business, and I won't name them, how those 72 people got those from the circle. If we could, this gentleman was waiting to uh, talk.
regards to the detective, Giacomo, in regards to this complaint of the fire, and you want to call it not an arson and just a fire, but just this woman was in my mother's home and opened the lockbox and went in there, and five minutes after this woman left, her home's on fire. And the abuse complaint that was done in regards to the abuse on, in 2002 to my mother. My mother had to die in Monroe at a motel in Monroe, in a suite there. Not in our home, not in the city of Taylor, which my mom called home. That's why we bought this house on Pine Street. And I wait for the detective, and I wait for them to do the right thing. I got word up at the detective department today, when I went up there to try to see the detective DiGiacomo, that I got several calls from, what is the status of this stuff? And the detective that was there told me that there's warrants being sought. Detective DiGiacomo told me that this was in Kim Worthy's office the last time I talked to him, after I left several messages after that, what's going on after I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. I called Kim Worthy's office today to the abuse department that handles this. She has none of these complaints at all. So Detective DiGiacomo told me he sent him for a warrant in Kim Worthy's office. We still sit waiting. Too long for my mother. But how many people in the American house that are sitting there getting abused by these people that did this to my mother? Or this woman that went into my mother's house that had to be somebody in medical because my mom was very sick and the only one that had a combination to those key boxes was medical people to go in and take care of very sad. And our belongings sit in that house for all that time like a bunch of garbage in that house. But that's our memories. That's all we have left. Because my mom's gone. And I tried to clean up the house as best as I could. First it was a police investigation for the arson fire. Then the insurance take control of the house. We can't do nothing. We can't move nothing. And then I find out we don't have no paperwork to this house. So now we've got to go to probate for this house and wait for the probate judge to decide what's going to happen with this before we can touch anything. Could, if I could, um, let's, if, if this is not active investigation um, or uh, I'm trying to get a, a sense of where this stands between the police department and yourself and um, Things are in the process of looking at corporation counsel. Right? If you want to litigate this in the, in the council meeting if it's an active investigation or if charges are pending to be filed or whatever the case, the, the state is um, trying to figure out right, where we go next from the steps here because I'm not certain, quite frankly, that at, at this council meeting if, if this is the proper form. The, pe the people yeah. that are supposed to be here doing the right thing, I think we've waited long enough in regards to this. Our police and fire department, when they tell you something, they're supposed to be doing the right thing. And I don't think I need to be waiting this long. When they tell me they send it to King Worthy's office, and they tell me there now today, they don't have it. So I'm going to find out tomorrow what's going to happen. Who dropped the ball? But somebody dropped the ball. There's no doubt about it. And I'm trying to sell my mother's house. We have two buyers to, interested in the house to get rid of the house. It's too hard to deal with that. I'm trying to get it cleaned up and have a buyer interested in taking the property over and fixing it and getting it back on the tax roll. It's very important to me. But I can't help it if it's a police investigation and they take jurisdiction or the insurance company or the probate court. It's out of my hands. 